Let's look at how we can use Magic School's uh, Magic Student feature to create a customized chatbot that students can interact with to play a yes or no guessing game so that they can practice vocabulary. So Magic School is an awesome AI-powered collection of tools and widgets for teachers to create all kinds of helpful, useful content like rubrics, lesson plans, um, simplified text, all kinds of stuff. So they harnessed that idea and created a student-facing platform called Magic Student. And you can take all kinds of student-specific tools and pr provide them to students in a very scaffolded way, very controlled, moderated way. Um, and you can customize some of those tools as well. So we're looking at an example of customizing a chat bot to create a gamified experience for students. So I've gone to this Launch to Students tab, and you can see I already have a bunch of um, rooms set up. And these are spaces that students would go to use whatever tools I choose and customize for them. And I'm going to look at this AI Games example. And then I'm going to edit this room so you can see what I've done to set it up. Set it up. Um, so I have some basic information here. And then I choose the tools that I want to use in this space in particular. So this is one example of why the student experience is so well moderated. I don't give students all of these tools. I choose which ones I want to share for whatever specific context they're needed. So in this case, I've used two. I have a chat bot that I've customized, and I'll show you how I customize it in a second, um, to play that yes or no guessing game. And then I also added it in their new image generator so that students could maybe, once they correctly guess their vocabulary word, uh, play with the image generator to create some kind of visual representation of that vocabulary as well, just to really cement that experience. Okay, so I want to keep these two tools. These are the only tools that I have available in this room. And then this is the space where I customize them. Um, so not everything is available to customize, but this chatbot was available to customize. So I'm going to click on here and show you how I did that. I gave it a name, um, simple question game, a description. In this game, you'll try to guess a vocabulary word by only asking yes or no questions. And then these are the instructions I gave the chatbot. Um, so depending on your level of experience with prompting, this may seem like a lot of instruction, or it actually may seem like a very little instruction. Um, but it does a very good job of understanding what I want. So you will host a questioning game for me where I am trying to guess your secret word by asking you only yes or no questions. You may respond to me only with yes or no, depending on the answer. When I correctly guess the answer, congratulate me and reflect on the questions I asked you. So really for the game itself, we only have this much instruction. And then this is um, about reflection afterwards. And then to finish, I gave it a list of words to choose from, a vocabulary list, if you will. So it randomly chooses one of these words to use to start the game. OK, and this is what the student would see. And then I'm going to jump over to the actual browser for the student experience. So this is exactly how the student would experience it. They see their tool, two tools right here. Um, so I'm going to jump into the game itself, I have my instructions, and then the AI chatbot starts us off, only respond with yes or no questions. So now I can start to play the game. And I could continue to play this game and really start to think about ways to narrow down um, the chatbot's responses based on the answers that I get, just like a traditional um, 20 questions or yes or no question game. And it does work. And once they get to the end of this um, experience and they correctly guess the word, the AI chatbot will launch into a nice reflection experience. Um, so let's say they're done with that. They can jump back over. And let's say that their word was um, tree, or maybe cell division. 
Um, they can do text to image. They can describe exactly what they want. And hopefully their description would be a little bit more involved. Um, but let's just see what we get from this. And the nice thing about this is we kind of are approaching vocabulary from a couple different perspectives. We have the interactive game where they're thinking about their word and what is essential about it to help them craft their yes or no questions to see if they can get it in a you know fun gamified environment. And then they bring that over to this image generator and they create a visual uh, representation of it, a non-linguistic representation. So it's a really great way to engage students in thinking about vocabulary and you could do this to start a lesson to just maybe build some background knowledge or as a fun sort of formative assessment or whatever makes sense for your class. So that is one example of how we can customize Magic Schools Magic Student tools to create um, a very specific engaging experience for students.